Hi, I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com and I have Bob Peterson with me today and we are going to tackle the question of the difference between LMMs and LBZs on today's DT Q&A. So 2007 and a half, there was a switch over. Tell me what happened, Bob. Um, I mean, the big switch is obviously body style that you can visually see. So the big question we ask, is it a new body style or old? They're a half year. Yeah. Um, the other huge introduction is uh, emissions. So you're going to have a, a DPF on an 07 and a half new body style LMM. Yeah. So if, it, if, like you said, if the truck has a new body style that is the bumper style that you see in the background, it's got a DPF on it yep. and it's got an LMM motor. Correct. We've got a pretty, a pretty solid uprate though five horsepower. Yeah, yeah. A lot of similarities in the actual hard parts other than the addition to the DPF, so. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, foundationally, the engine is almost unchanged. I mean, they, they take the same power, um, they have the same uh, same strength, same weaknesses, aside from the DPF. And there, there are a couple little, I don't know, little things that changed, um, and we'll just kind of go over those, and they're mostly around emissions equipment. Uh, in front of me here, I have the EGR cooler from an LBZ truck. So this is on all 2006 trucks. You can see the shape is round. Okay, on an LMM truck, so 2007 and a half, you have a square shaped EGR cooler. It has a bigger opening on this end. Um, it, it's a subtle difference, but it, the EGR function uh, is, you know, the cooler capacity is improved. So the chance of those failures is, is less. Um, also you have the intake piece from an LMM. And the difference that you can see here is that on an LMM you have a four bolt flange after the intake heater and there is a intake airflow valve there to regulate the amount of airflow allowed into the engine. That's to control exhaust gas temperatures to initiate uh, light off of the, of the DPF system. So if you show the show mirrors over there yeah, and that just connects right to the intercooler from there. So. Little difference, and then also on the LMM you have a, a coolant um, hose that goes off the oil cooler, and we'll cut to a picture of that. Another difference we have between the two is the ECM. Um, physically, the case is identical. Um, you wouldn't be able to know the difference between right, the two right. by they look identical by not knowing the serial numbers on them. Um, obviously, the internals are going to be a little different. The LMM has the you know control of the emissions. Yeah, so you have the code for the DPF control. Um, but yeah, they're both ADC-16, they're both based on the same architecture, five position switching for both of them, right? Correct, yep. Same install, same pins, same location on the trucks. Yeah. Um, Power-wise? Same, same, working with a six-speed Allison behind both of them. Okay, power -wise, so you build the trans. Holding, yep. Holding capability in the stock form is the same as well as the built form. Um, you know, the motor limitations are going to be about the same as well. So that 530 horsepower range is where we're looking for with both trucks. On a stock turbo, yeah. On a stock turbo. So really, I mean, if you're building a, per, a truck for performance application, yeah, it's a wash. Yep, if you want the new body style or old, or if you want to mess with emissions or not. Um. So from there to the fuel system, I mean, we have the injector difference. The LBZ was a seven hole, 158 degree spray pattern for injector for uh, emissions purposes. They switched it up a little bit to six hole on the LMM, okay. uh, 159 degree. Okay, so you'll, um, see, you'll see the switch over, right? If, uh, I mean, if you go into the big injector. Yeah, yeah they use the, uh, I believe the seven hole injector is used for anything below 100% and they'll use the six hole for above. Um, they are pretty interchangeable. The bodies are almost identical. The connector's a little different. They can be uh, interchanged. They can be made to work. Yeah. 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 So it's, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're very similar trucks. Um, you know, the, the emissions equipment is a, a bit of a frustration. The LMM is the first year for the emissions equipment for the DPF, I should say, not the EGR. Uh, and the, the DPF system is not as capable as the emission system on the LML trucks. So they are a little more prone to failure. They don't have the ninth injector, so you do have, uh, you know, the system uh, potentially washing out the rings, uh, getting extra oil in the or extra diesel fuel in the oil. So it's it requires maintenance. Okay. Yeah. And the big thing is mileage too. Um, you know, if you're looking to build a compliant truck or get power out of a compliant truck, is be mindful of the mileage and the life it's had. So obviously, you know, yeah. these are designed to fail at some point, like you said, and, and they become overactive and they, they can't hurt the truck. So if you're looking at a 
two hundred thousand mile truck, you know, yeah, you're for probably sure, for sure. if it's never had emissions equipment serviced or or replaced, you're probably under the last leg of it. Yeah, so. or hasn't been well maintained anyway, farm truck or you know, an LMM farm truck versus an LBZ farm truck. Yeah, you know which one yeah. I want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. So that wraps it up. Uh, pretty straightforward. I'm Nick. This I'm is Bob. Bob.